you have come to hear my side of the story, have you? It suits you to understand both sides of history. I have no doubt that Dennis will have filled your heads with colorful lies about me, about the revolution, and his exile from France. Let me start at the beginning. They say the revolution began in Paris. But the truth is, it was born in the trenches, as the ceaseless slaughter of the Great War sanded down the will of an entire generation. Despair in the trenches turned into an unbridled rage. Rage against the apparatus of state that would sacrifice so many of our brothers, husbands, comrades on the altar of their petty bourgeois interests. Rage. Because even if we were to win this war, there would only be more poverty, more misery awaiting the people of France. So when the order to die pointlessly came, the men refused. They stood their ground against the German onslaught. This, the elites called mutiny. When the workers in Paris rose in solidarity, the ruling class trembled. Only when their interests were threatened, only then did the government sue for peace. France lost the Great War, yes, but not because of the syndicalists. In truth, France was let down not by its own people, but by its so-called elites. The bourgeois signed for peace only when their interests were threatened by strikes, wasting the blood of the workers they had so eagerly spilled before. Soldiers and workers joined forces, and the people of France rose up against their corrupt elites. In our workers' revolution, we ousted the reactionary Republican scum to their hiding places in the deserts of Africa, and the revolution was won. Little did our enemies know, it was only the beginning. Like rats, the reactionaries fled France, believing our revolutionary state to be a flight of fancy. But our new proletarian federation not only endured, but thrived. From Paris, beating heart of the revolution, syndicalism spread. First to Britain, then Africa, Asia, South America. The Germans thought us weak, turning their backs on the Western Europe they considered conquered. France, they said, was diminished, contained. Then the revolution took London. The British Empire collapsed. And the Kaiser danced to our revolutionary tune. Unable to cope with their own failings, French reactionaries began spinning tales of backstabbing leftist rabble as they held on to their last vestiges of imperial rule. Every day they waste away. Every day the revolution grows stronger. Denis was not a kind man. Hmm. Not before the war. And certainly not after. The man telling you about duty was a drunk would rather spend his time with the ladies of the town than with his own wife, a newborn child. <laughs> Denis and many others lived in the France of their imagination. A France of old glories, old ideas. While they raved and ranted about republican ideals, workers starved in the streets. Their France was always a house of cards. Weak, corrupt, morally vacuous. <laughs> you know what? Do me a favor. If you see Denis, tell him this. For what it's worth, my love, I hold no grudge towards you. I look to the future now. Even as you look to the past, 
My chains are broken. What about yours? Our first thoughts are always with our friends and crew members in Ukraine who continue to resist a vicious invader with a grim determination the world has not seen since the Winter War. Ukraine will need enormous amounts of aid to rebuild. Swing by our Ukraine Red Cross fundraiser or support those in need through the various fundraiser and actions going on at the moment. For this episode of World of Kaiserreich, we want to thank our newest patrons. Robert Barnes, Dwiariani, Doncrest, Mohamed, Zilinder and Scumfeld. Our patron recently surpassed $1600 in monthly donations. And to make matters even more interesting, our webshop shipped her 10,000th order this week. The World of Kaiserreich has never been bigger, deeper and more available on various platforms. Every video brings us closer to our mission of putting a Kaiserreich show on every screen, a Kaiserreich book in every store. Visit our Alt History webshop to buy some of our original art prints. Alternatively, swing by our sister project, flagmaker-print.com, to print and design your own Alt History flags. Until then, I am Vincent Tenil, signing off, proud of the work we did. See you for the next one, cats.